Hey guys, welcome back. We've got another art from home with Mrs. Wood and my kiddos are here to help me. So this week in art, we were going to look at French Impressionism, which was a time when artists like Claude Monet made paintings showing light and the way that sunlight showed on different things in nature. Um, he especially made lots and lots of paintings, over 250 paintings of his water garden with water lilies. So I'm gonna take some basic art supplies. We're gonna show you three different ways to make this project. And anyone at home can do this with different supplies. So Colton, what do you have today? Um, what do you have? A lot of markers. He has a bunch of markers. I've got finger paints. And Kinley has? Watercolors. Watercolors. And a Sharpie, all right. So first of all, take a piece of paper and we're gonna leave it horizontal, okay? So this is vertical. We're gonna make it horizontal so that we can make a landscape. And on the Water Lilies painting, you'll see that there's lots of little dabs of paint. So we're gonna do that three different ways using pointillism with markers. Kinley's gonna do it with little blobs of watercolor paint. And I'm gonna show you using paint um, like it's a finger paint. So I'll show you this example again. And we're going to get started using mainly cool colors, okay? So blues, greens, and a little bit of purples, and we're going to fill up our backgrounds, okay? So Colton, let's use yours, and you're going to use lots of points of color. Kinley, you can do your watercolors, and they're not smooth. Everything in Impressionism was kind of little abrupt brush strokes, or in our class, I was gonna let our little artist use finger paint and make little dots. And when we do finger paint at my classroom, we say that one color for one finger. So you can see we use a different finger for different colors. And that's a good way to do it at home as well. Go ahead and get started, guys. We need to fill up the background. We're gonna make it look like blurry, wavy water by using different colors layered over top of each other. So Colt's just making dots, honey, pointillism. Yep, Kinley's gonna make little dots of color. And I'm making dots of color with all different supplies to show some water and pointillism. Yep, yeah, you can use green. Yep, that would be a color that's reflected into water as well. All right, so we're gonna fill up the background um, I'll put a link to, there's some really cool Maddie and Dada, Colton, you're shaking the whole table. There's some really cool Maddie and Dada um, videos that also show an interview. Um, these little cartoon characters go back in time and visit with French Impressionistic artists. So I'll put a link to that as well. And that's something that we usually watch during cleanup time in my room. But it definitely gives the kiddos a better feel for these artists and what was going on during that time that influenced the artwork. All right, how's pointillism coming? Lots of pointillism. Lots of points and dots, huh? All right. Keep going. Try to lot of dots. fill it up. I know we've got this whole giant water lily pond to fill up with dots. So you can see kind of how mine's going so far. Different dots of different colors. And we can put these all over top of each other, different colors. All right, so again, if you're finger painting at home, keep your different colors on different fingers. It keeps you from mixing them. That keeps your tray of paint really nice and neat. How's yours going, Kinley? Good. Oh, you want to show it off? Hold it up to the camera. Very nice. All right, so what do you think about pointillism so far? Not too bad? All right. If you're not in the mood for messes, but you like the idea of using paint, you can also take any paintbrush. I like fat or bigger ones to start with. And the back end of the brush, it's either wooden or plastic. You can take that end, not the bristles, not the hair, but the pointed end, and you can put that in your paint as well. Okay, so I've got paint on the end of my brush, 
And then I can use that to make little dots also. So that is another way to make dots in art. Hey, bud, you're shaking the whole table. It shakes the whole camera. So you gotta slow it down. Yeah, babe. Yeah, that doesn't, it works better for finger paint or acrylic paints. It's not gonna work as well for watercolor. Kinley's giving it a try though. That's how we learn, right? Good experiment. All right, guys, so we're gonna call that pretty good. Colton, how's yours coming? Pretty good? Yeah. Okay. So the goal here is to show transitions of colors with little dots, which in art is called pointillism. All right, and we're making a nice, fun, messy background. All right, you guys ready to make your next pieces? Yes. All right, so we're gonna grab, we've got lots of different supplies, and we're gonna grab our green paper net. So you could use white paper and just color it with green crayons or markers, but if you happen to have construction paper, that works out really well. I'm gonna draw a large one just so you can see from home, and Colton and Kim are gonna make small ones because we're gonna make lily pads that go over our background, okay? So to make a lily pad, here's what we need. You need to draw a in that scissors yet. All right, you're gonna make a sideways letter C. I guess it's not sideways, a letter C is always to the side. So we're gonna make a nice big letter C. You're not gonna make them big though, yours are small. Okay. And then from the side, you're gonna make it come in, kind of like you're drawing a Pac-Man face, with a letter V that's sideways. Okay. And this gives you this shape for a lily pad. All right. Yours are going to be smaller because we're going to cut them out and glue them onto the background. That's right. You're going to start cutting them? Yep. And then you're going to start cutting them out. Don't make them that small. That's too little. Well, Colt made a miniature one that's like ant sized. Here. It doesn't matter, Kim. So something like this. There you go. You want to cut those ones? So we're just making the same shape repeated over and over again. It'll give us some little lily pads to put on top of our painting or pointillism drawing with markers. So you can see some smaller ones. <laughs> what type of face is that? <laughs> All right, guys. So this is going to be mixed media. We're using different art supplies, piling them on top of one another to create our artwork today. And again, if you don't have construction paper at home, just draw it on a white paper and then you can color or paint to make them green to look like little lily pads. Thank you. Okay, so we're just going to cut them out. Using basic shapes of the letter C and the letter V, put them together and we can make a little lily pad. Or you can draw Pac Man. Right? <laughs> if you did it on yellow paper. If you did it on yellow paper, would it look like Pac Man? Um, yeah. Yeah. Mine's yeah. not. We have that one. Oh, yeah. Yes. That's okay. Oh, he's cool. All right. So, also while you're doing this, you can make as many lily pads as you want, or you can just make a few. Here's another one. And then you're going to glue these on top. If you have watercolor paint, it might take a while for the um, paint to dry. But then you can glue these over the top. You can also wait till tomorrow if you want to do this project in two steps. Especially if you have little ones with really messy finger paint. It might take a while for that to dry as well. Why are you smiling? Would you have been messy with finger paint? Probably. I agree. All right. But we'll try and get ours attached real quick here today for the video. All right, so it's starting to come together, look a little bit more like a pond with lily pads over the top. 
And we're gonna add on some little flowers and that's our next step is to draw the flowers that would be on the top of some of these little lily pads. So I'll draw a big one and then you guys can draw them small on our other colors. So on top of a lily pad, there's a little flower and I like to use the letter U at the bottom. Again, I'm usually doing this with kindergarten, okay? So basic letter shapes helps them to real quickly create a more complex shape. So the bottom is like a letter U. Okay, and I'll draw you a big one on here, and then we'll do them small. So just a letter U. And then the top, I like to think of as the letter M, but a couple of them. So we're not just doing one M, we might do two or three letter M's. Or you can just do three little humps on the top. So to make them small for your artwork, they might look more like this one. To fit over the top. And water lily flowers, I'll show you this picture again. Oh, you can work off of this page. There's several different colors on the water lily pads. So um, oftentimes you'll see pink, white, a little bit of violet, or even yellow. So I'll show you this one again. And that gives us some more ideas as we're picking our colors for this project. And then same thing, you're going to cut those out and put them on the top. I'll grab some pink, a letter U for the bottom, over the top, think about the letter M, or maybe two M's next to each other. A W, yep, it kind of looks like a W, doesn't it? Good job. All right, and for the interest of time, I'm gonna fold mine and cut out a couple at once. So lots of layering today to create the effect, several different supplies, and you can choose from home what supplies you prefer. All right, here's one more for you. Here's a pink one. All right, and you don't have to have a flower on top of each lily pad, but if you like the flowers, you can add as many as you like. I'm gonna add two or three here. So you can see we just attached those on top of the lily pad. How's it going, babe? You want another glue? Yep. This one, I think the lid was really stuck. There you go. Yes. That works. Okay. Yep. You want another one? Oh, that one's huge, isn't it? That wasn't the one for on there. That's okay. Can we catch out some small ones? I'm good. So we're almost there. Colton, can they all have one to show you here in a moment? And then you can create these at home any way you would like using the supplies that you have available. And you can be a mini French impressionist also. All right. You got yours. You can hold it up up here. Good job. Yeah, you want a yellow? You got yours ready here in a minute, bud, you can show off. We messed with exaggeration here. You can see the giant flower. I'll put a small one in second. Yeah. Okay. So here you can see I've got one yellow now. All right, guys, you got anything else you want to show off? Looking good? I'm good. All right. Hope you have fun making these. If you get a chance, post a picture of what you made to Facebook, or you can also email me a picture. I'd love to see you guys creating at home. All right, bye. You gonna say bye, guys? Bye. Bye. <laughs>